live. We're live, baby. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to head out for the day, but wanted to set this episode up. I, last week, I gave a ride to John Hardy, the 2015 Breakthrough Prize Award winner. He won the award for his work on dissecting the root causes of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and frontotemporal dementia. If you don't know what the Breakthrough Prize is, the Breakthrough Prize is an international award bestowed in three categories in recognition of scientific advance. It is funded by all the heavy hitters in tech. Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google and the current president of Alphabet. Mark Zuckerberg, Priscilla Chan, obviously from Facebook. Anne Woshchiki, one of the co-founders of 23andMe. Uh, Pony Ma from Tencent, a very large Asian conglomerate. And Yuri Milner from Mail.ru, uh, DST Global. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I gotta get going. So maybe you can uh, tell us uh, what you were doing down here, and um, yeah. So I, I, my name's John Hardy. I've just been here, uh, really celebrating the Breakthrough Prize. That's a science prize organized by, um, well, Yuri Milner's the lead guy, but he does it with Facebook, and Mark Zuckerberg, and, and 23andMe, and Wojcicki, and, um, and Google, Sergey Brin. They fund this prize for um, scientific breakthroughs. I'm a geneticist, and I was lucky enough to win it three years ago for my work on Alzheimer's disease, but this year, the prize which we celebrated the night before last was won by a couple of people who've devised a really incredible therapy for a genetic form of uh, early onset Lou Gehrig's disease so we've been celebrating that there was a big show um, hosted by Pierce Brosnan the night before last oh really and, uh, and we had Lionel Richie singing at it it was televised on National Geographic so you know it's been very nice for my wife and I, you know, coming from rainy England to Stanford to the Bay Area here in the sun and going to these uh, great events, uh, you know, with show business celebrities as well as other nerds like ourselves. <laughs> you know, that's been a really nice day, a nice couple of days. And now we're on our way back. Unfortunately, now we're on our way back to, uh, to London and the real world. Fascinating. And where did this uh, uh, conference or event? Where did it take place? Uh, NASA Ames. NASA Ames. Yeah, just which is maybe ten miles south of here. Yep. So um, it, it, one of the hangars there. So uh, that's where it takes place every year. It's been going. I think it's been going about five or six years. We get to come out every two years. So this is the third time we've been out for this celebration. Okay. Always a lot of fun. Nice. So it's on the National Geographic channel. I think it's on it's on YouTube too for sure. Okay. Well, I'll have to check it out. And what is what was your uh, submission this year for the um, uh, for the event? Oh, I just get invited back because I won it three years ago. We won it for um, our work on Alzheimer's disease. Okay. Um, so that's that's why I get I get. The luxury of I'm on one of the judges, uh, so I get the luxury of being invited. Very nice. So, do you uh, have a company in England that you work for, or? No, I, well, I work for one of the u big universities there, University College London. Oh, okay. Queen Square London. I work in a neurology institute. Oh, fascinating. Okay. Maybe you've heard of um, Michael Merzenich? No, I don't think so. He's from uh, UCSF, and uh, he's sort of the, I describe him as the father of brain plasticity. 
but he's a neuroscientist over there. Well, he's, he's actually the professor emeritus at UCSF oh, in, in neuroscience. So. I mean, of course, you know, UCSF has got a fantastic neuroscience. I mean, you've got the Gladstone Institute, which is one of the best Alzheimer Institutes there. You've got Prusner, who won the Nobel Prize for prion diseases. You know, it's a, and actually, you know, the Bay Area is just a fantastic oasis of work in neurosciences. The UCF, UCSF and Stanford and Berkeley, these are all great, great neuroscience programs. All of that. And you've heard of uh, Bruce Ames as well, right? I've heard of him. I've only yeah. really met him once. Of course, he devised a very quick and simple test for can for carcinogenic substances. Yep. Very, very simple that any, any school kid could do. You basically, if I get it right, you plate bacteria on it that can't grow on a media, and then you put the chemical you're testing, and it has the potential to mutate the um, bacteria so that they can grow on the media. So you can tell how carcinogenic something is by how effective it mutate, how effectively it mutates the bacteria. So it's a very famous, I mean, it's not reliable, but the beauty of it is that it's so simple. It's the very, simplicity of it. Exactly. Yeah. We did it at school. We used it at when I was at school, we did it. We did the Ames test. Yep, fascinating. Yeah, I gave him a ride about a week ago, and he did something for my channel as well. I'm in the process of actually putting it together. So you have to be careful who you pick up. You really have to be careful. <laughs> you never know who you're gonna get. Okay. Nice well, we're here, guys. You. you as well. Nice talking to you. See ya. And the breakthrough prize is not only in life science; it's also there's in maths. mathematics and physics. There's a maths prize and a physics prize. And really, chemistry. Somewhere a chemistry, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fascinating. You learn something new every day in this car. I tell you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.